Hi there, YouTubers. This is uh, JR's Diecast Cars. Back with another video. Show you some uh, trucks I picked up over the weekend at a flea market. Um, here they are here. I uh, got a pretty good deal on them. Gave five bucks for all these. Which I thought was a, like I say, decent deal. Um, they're... Uh, some of them's Matchbox, some's Hot Wheels, some is, some of them I can't even read the names on them. But uh, they'll be good for just to lay out it. I mean, for a diorama somewhere, a junkyard or something. Like here's, here's one here that's kind of all beat up. So I'll use this in a junkyard. And you can't beat these for five bucks, you know. I mean, heck, it's cost more than that in the store. Uh, here's another one. Set kind of lopsided, but some of these I can do some work to them. Um, take them apart, redo them and stuff, because like some of the axles and stuff are all bent out of shape, which I could put all new back on, probably end up putting new tires on it or something. Or may use it for a junkyard piece. Um, here's one. I believe this may be. Here's a matchbox. It's pretty neat looking. It's got a wheel that's kind of bent out of shape, but I think I can get it fixed though. Um, just pop it apart and put new axles in it. But uh, it looks pretty neat. It's just something else I can put in my collection. And uh, here's another matchbox. Not really for sure what this one it's supposed to be doing this here, but it's kind of cool. Um, like I say, it's a matchbox though as well. I mean, these I got these cars probably for a quarter a piece or these trucks. Here's another. I think this might be another matchbox. Yeah, it is. It don't have a bed or anything on it, but um, I think I'm gonna build a flat bed on it. Uh, take something and put a piece across there just build my own customize it for myself or something we kind of neat there's that one there it rolls good this one does uh, let's see I got this little truck here <coughs> um, I'm not really for sure what the It says made in Hong Kong. I can't, I can't see the name on it. It's kind of messed up. But anyhow, that's not a bad little piece. This one here I probably will drill apart. And uh, I think I may end up putting some rubber tires on it. That'd be a cool little piece right there. I don't know yet. I may just keep it for whatever. Um, here's one tractor and trailer both this is pretty cool this is a nice one here um, this one here is a wow I can't even see that right I can't see the writing. <laughs> it's too little for me. Anyhow, it's not a bad little casting there. It rolls good. Back wheels give kind of problem on the trailer, but it's all right. Ain't got the doors on it, but it's okay. This this one here looked good for my with my HO scale train layout when I get it all put back together. Um, here's a Hot Wheel. There's nothing special about this. Um, just, I really hate the rims on this thing. I'll probably end up drilling apart and customizing it. Take all the paint off and paint it a different color or something. We'll see. Um, here's a couple trailers. No tractors with them, which that's all right. I, uh, here's a Mayflower. Which I, I'll just have these on my train layout when I get it back together, just sitting around. 
And here's the other one. It's missing a set of wheels on it right there. But that's okay. I can fix that. Put different ones on it. Here's a matchbox. I really like the matchbox and the Hot Wheels. These things are nice here. Pretty decent shape, really. But there's some uh, wear on them, but hey, you say for what, a quarter a piece if that much? Can't really gripe about them. And uh, here's, here's a couple other matchbox pieces. They're both the same trucks. Um, it says uh, 1928 to 1998 on the back of that. I don't know what it's supposed to mean, but uh, the, both of these things roll really good. I'll just, uh, trailer or not, I'll still put them up. But here's a crane. It's a matchbox piece as well. Stands out. Goes up. Down, it turns, rotates all the way around. Put this in my construction stuff. That'll go probably on my train layout too, imagine. It's about the right scale for HO. Here's a matchbox here. I believe this used to be a dump truck. It's missing the bed, but that's all right. I'll, uh, I'll probably end up making my own bed for it or something. May leave it like it is, I don't know. But uh, it's in pretty decent shape. It's a Peterbilt. Uh, it's not bad shape at all. And then uh, this was a hot or is a hot wheel. Imagine this was a dump truck or it could well it could have been a uh, cement mixer too. But uh, I'm not really for sure. It doesn't matter. Kind of like it the way it looks. Um, I might draw another hole back here and just uh, use it, have a trailer on it or something, you know. Don't know. We'll have to see. All right, that's my uh, flea market find from this past weekend. Here's, <coughs> I've got some Hot Wheels and Matchbox things that I found last week. Um, here's the uh, truck set, five car or five five trucks in it. Picked this up at a Walmart. Um, mainly picked it up for just two trucks. Um, the other ones may I may get to my uh, grandson. I haven't really decided yet main reason why I picked it up is this piece here. I'm not a big fan of the PR5s, um, but I'll, I'll leave them on there. Uh, that looked good with rubber tires on it. I love the paint scheme. It's a little, got a few smudges on it right there on the back, which I can live with that. But uh, I, I like the collar. It's, the collar's pretty cool looking. That looked good as a treasure hunt, really. Okay, there's that one. And then you got the, I believe it's a Silverado. I guess, I don't know. Another one. So I don't really get into these. This truck here, I ain't, I ain't a big fan of it. This here probably go to my grandson. Same with this one here. I mean, it's all right. I just don't like the tire, the rims. They're ugly. Might keep it, put different rims on it. I don't know, different tires. Um, this one here, I don't, I don't know yet. I don't, I don't like the decals they got on it. I wish they wouldn't have done that. I wish they just painted it yellow and and have all the black around here. That looked pretty cool. I might remove those pinstripes and stuff. I might, I don't know yet. And then here's another one, another reason why I got it. Is this truck right here. This is the uh, 
1941 Ford. That's a good looking piece right there. I like that. Rims and all, that looks pretty cool. Low because it's got the flat black on it. Yeah. That's that's pretty cool. I like this one. That's the best one I like out of all of them. Alright, there's that. Now we've got some uh mass box that we're gonna open up here. Um, Sure, some of you guys already seen these, but I'll pop them open as quick as I can. And I got three Hot Wheels after this. A couple of the ones from the truck set, the truck series that just come out. Okay, let's see. Let's start with uh, the Volkswagen Carmagia. This one here. It's pretty cool. Um, all right, go ahead. Take them out of the package. Might as well. There it is right there. That's a pretty cool car. It's kind of plain Jane, but I kind of like that, though. The license plate on the back. It's kind of hard to see it, but it's there. Plastic base, of course. It's all right, though. I really do like the Matchbox wheels. Those are nice. <clears throat> okay. Here's another one. It's a Cadillac CTS Coupe. These are pretty cool castings here. I like the details on these things. Got the painted tail lights, license plate. Yeah, that's, that's nice casting. Painted headlights. I think looks good. I like the rims on it too, actually. Pretty cool looking with this car. Uh, Alright, well, there's that one. Let's see, next is a Swamp Raider. The Jeep. Not a bad looking little casting there. Like it, they go good with my other Jeeps and stuff. Um, it's plastic base, metal body, I guess it is. Sounds like it. Some of them are plastic bodies. It looks like it might be metal. There's that one. And then our next one is a 71 Nissan Skyline 2000 GTX. This car is pretty cool looking. I like it. I picked up two of these. I really like the paint job on it. This definitely goes with the car, the paint job does. It's pretty neat looking. There's that one. Painted tail lights, license plate. It says something on the trunk. Painted headlights. That's a pretty cool car. But like I say, then again, I like the I like the wheels on Matchbox. This I usually don't pick up this kind of stuff, but this is a willing willow. Wheel line record. I thought, well, what the heck, I'll go ahead and get it. A couple more here in Matchbox, guys. And move on to the three Hot Wheels I got. Um, see this. Yeah. Now I see why I don't collect this stuff. <laughs> oh, well, it's kind of cool. I like the front wheels on it. I'll get another one for a custom on something. Those look pretty cool, the wheels do. See that? 
it's not bad. I mean, I, I really like the wheels on it. This thing rotates. I'll probably end up using all my uh, HL scale train set or something, or I'll probably end up taking the wheels off of it actually. Use it for custom. Um, here's another Matchbox. It's a 2015 Jaguar F Type Coupe. This car is pretty, pretty classy looking. Looks pretty good. A lot of detail work on it. And headlights, tail lights, and all that, but. I say that's the kind of stuff I like on them. Here it is. Painted tail lights. Like the wheels on it. This classic little car right here. Tinted windows. It looks pretty cool. <clears throat> the last one in the match box is a 63 Cadillac Amber. Anybody like it to say that? Anyways, there it is there. <clears throat> I get a couple extra of these and customize these. Just to make a cool Ghostbuster car. <clears throat> There it is. Yeah, I hope I get a few more castings like this one. Make a hearse out of one of them. That's pretty cool looking. And, uh, plastic base, but it's all right. That's a cool casting though. I like that. It's really neat. And, uh, hopefully I can get a couple more. All right. See, that's it on the matchbox. Now I'm going to move into the Hot Wheels. This is a buddy of mine got this for me, and he said this is a Target ex exclusive. Which there ain't no Target around here, but Indianapolis. And I don't go to Indy that much. But this is the Bone Shaker. Take it out. I do like the Bone Shaker casting. Sorry about that, guys. Phone fell over. <laughs> it's not good, is it? But here's the bone shaker. That's yeah. This casting is sharp. Got a, a lot of different bone shakers. One of these days, I'm gonna open up probably about eighty percent of them. My convention pieces and my Redline Club stuff, I'll keep in the package. But for right now, but uh, all this stuff like the Larrys and all that, I'll. I'll be opening all that up. That's cool casting right there. Alright. I gotta hurry guys. I don't want to run out of time here. Here is one of the castings from the truck series. This is the Ford F-250. And there's only this one and the Rancher. That's the only ones I really wanted out of this set. I'm gonna try to pick up a couple more of these trucks, I hope, in the future. But I, I, I just love this casting, man. This, I'm glad that uh, Mattel went a different route with it instead of just with the camper shell on it. Because this truck's got a lot of potential. Yeah, it's, I love the collar on this. This thing is sharp. It's almost as good as it's looked ever since it come out. Actually, it is the best it's looked to me. Yeah, you know, this is a sweet casting. Grows good, man. Uh, Mattel definitely have the rubber tires down to an art. I mean, those things grow good. Hey, the last one is a Ford Ranchero, and I like this casting a lot too. Say only two I wanted out of the entire set. I don't really care about all of them, but there's the Ranch Earl. That's a cool car. I like it. A lot of people don't like it because of long front end and stuff, but I love big cars. I like your 65 Impala, your 66 Impalas, 
you know, your your old uh, Cadillacs and stuff. I love anything big like that. That's, I mean, those are cars worth driving down the road. Like driving a big old boat. But man, you ride in luxury in those things. I used to have a 65 Chevy Impala years ago. <laughs> Wish I still had it. Paid 250 bucks for it. Nowadays, you can't even touch a fender for that. Probably not even the seats. But, uh, that's a long time ago. Oh, well. But, uh, here's the ranch arrow. Like I said, I love the casting. It's metal on metal. Same with the truck. Um, I don't think I'll pick up any more of this, but the truck, I definitely want to get another one of the truck. Probably, actually, two more, to tell you the truth. Because I'll probably end up robbing the ladder off of it and put it on another one and just have one without the ladder. Yeah, that's a, that is a sweet looking casting right there. All right, guys, I'll see you on the next next one. Um, I got a few more, uh, I think I got a few more yard sale goodies. Yeah, I did, I do, I found, uh, I don't get into NASCAR that much. But man, the price I got on this stuff, wow. I bought 300 NASCAR pieces, 164 scale. Some of them are uh, 143 or whatever it is. I bought almost 300 pieces for 30 bucks at a flea market. And 99% of them are still in the package. They won't be when I'm done because I'm going to open up everything. So I'm not much of a NASCAR collector, but... You know, three big totes for 30 bucks. I'll, I'll collect these and keep them. I mean, <laughs> I've got doubles on some of them, but those I'll get to my grandkids. But uh, I, I couldn't pass up the deal, you know. I'd just like I say it's it was well worth it. So uh, that's going to be my next video. I'll uh, show everybody how many of them there is, and then I'm going to crack, you know, so many at a time. Not all. I mean, I'll scatter it out. You know, it could be a month or two before I'm even done even making or you know, opening them all. But I will be opening up some. And uh, I'll definitely show everybody how many I've got. I'll say for 30 bucks. Yeah. All right, guys. I'll see you on the next video. Uh, happy hunting. And uh, just stay true to the passion, man. I mean, that's why I'm doing it. I love it. Uh, I'll probably do this until the day I die. So, all right, you guys have a blessed day and a blessed evening, and see you on the next one.